That's because the Sun, Earth and Mars are lining up in an event called opposition. Well, those with a good telescope will be able to see the red planet's south pole ice cap. Earlier I was joined by the astronomer and the author Tom Kurz, who explained more about the phenomenon on Tuesday night. Mars is visible all night long tonight and it will be high up in the south, pretty much unmistakable due to that sort of burnt orange colour that it has. At about midnight. Now, if you're on summertime, of course, that means it's actually 1 a.m. into tomorrow morning. But throughout the night tonight, with the sun going down where you are, if you take a look over in the east, you'll see Mars rising. And it will be at its very brightest for the rest of the year. Yeah, and you're describing it there as sort of an orange glow. We course, call it the red planet, but looking at it as sort of this orange haze. I think it's got people excited because, you know, as you've been saying, there's been a lot of talk about Mars this month, but this will be its most impressive. Break it down for us a bit more, though. Opposition. This is a technical term that's being knocked around. What exactly is it and how common is it? Yes, an opposition occurs whenever the Earth comes between the Sun and another planet in our solar system. So there are two planets inside of the Earth's orbit. That's Mercury and Venus. We call those sometimes the inferior planets. And then we have a number of planets outside of the Earth's orbit, the closest of which is Mars. So every year as the Earth goes around the Sun, Typically, we have an opportunity to experience an opposition from one of those far-flung planets that moves very slowly. But because Mars actually moves quite rapidly around the Sun, going around the Sun in under two years, oppositions of Mars are actually a little less common. We don't get to see Mars in such a good position every year. And there's another factor that's at play this year, which is that the Earth's orbit and indeed Mars's orbit are not perfect circles. So some years Mars is closer to the Earth and some years it's farther away. And on this occasion, Mars is unusually close to the Earth, which means it appears spectacularly bright. We won't actually see Mars this bright again for another 15 years or so in September of 2035. So this is an excellent opportunity to enjoy it close to its absolute brightest. And indeed, if you have a telescope, it does appear very large this year, much more so than it will uh, over subsequent years until, again, as I say, about 15 years time when it makes another close approach to the Earth. So a once in a 15 a year chance. But in terms of the season of Mars, you were talking about everyone pointing out Mars this month in particular has been very visible. We know this has coincided with the launch of many probes aiming to obviously get near the planet, but not every country has perhaps had the luck to get theirs up in time. Um, could you give us a sense of you know, what the agencies have been doing? Yeah, there's a, an ongoing, many ongoing open questions about the nature of Mars. And I would say in particular, the history of the planet. What was it like in the distant past? That's something that scientists really want to know. And so in recent years, we've seen a fleet of spacecraft specialized in studying the past habitability of Mars. Now, back in the year 2012, there was a very successful landing on Mars, which was the Mars Science Laboratory or Curiosity rover. This year, NASA is sending the follow-up, the spiritual successor, which is Perseverance. But we've also seen missions to Mars recently from other countries, including, for example, India. And we've even seen the United Arab Emirates launching their first space mission this year, 